Hi, students, and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian, and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Budapest. I hope everybody is having a healthy and good weekend so far. Hi, Beg John. Hi, Sami. Our members are already joining in. That's fantastic. This is a members chat class where we are uh, writing an essay, task two, uh, focusing on body paragraphs and the conclusion, continuing from yesterday's a lesson. If you're not a member of the channel, you are welcome to watch, of course. And uh, to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button. If you don't see that button, uh, send me an email and I can give you further instructions. Adrian at aehelp.com. Hi, Chaitra. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Elena. Nice to see more members coming in on time. Uh, again, this class is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success, please visit us there, join our premium package, and for general IELTS, check us out at g-i-e-l-t-s-help.com. That's general IELTS help.com. While we wait for a few more members, uh, I'll quickly show you those websites. Uh, this is, uh, whoop, where is it? Oh, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> this is the academic website here. Not that. There we go. That's our academic website right there. And uh, you can click that big red button to join the premium package. And our general website looks similar but with a green background. All right. Um, okay, students. Uh, so again, if you have questions about our products or our services, just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. Hi, Angelina. Hi, Hamant. Nice to see everyone. So we'll finish this task two in this class, and then we'll have a speaking part two that will be for everyone uh, coming up in about 90 minutes. Uh, so let's get right into it today. Um, I want to make some good speed today uh, to build your writing fluency, and uh, I really would like to get to both of the body paragraphs and the conclusion today. So... Um, let's get cracking. Uh, this was the question yesterday that we started. You should spend 40 minutes on this task. In many countries, youngsters from the age of 16 years are allowed to drive, vote, and even get married. While in some countries, they are not allowed. What, according to you, should be the correct age to permit such privileges? Explain your point of view and give relevant examples. Okay, uh, and you should write at least 250 words. So we planned the essay yesterday. We discussed the importance of maturity and what it means to be responsible mentally, physically, and socially mature. This is just a quick review of yesterday's main points. And then uh, we came up with a thesis statement so this was our thesis statement, or this is the one I wrote. Uh, many of you wrote uh, similar. I believe that the right to vote, drive, and marry require both mental and social maturity, which is not yet attained by most 16-year-olds, and therefore these privileges are better reserved for those 19 and older. Okay. All right. Um, so... Uh, that was the uh, thesis, and uh, I believe, Hemant, you asked me, um, is it okay to write the first paragraph about 16-year-olds and then the second paragraph about 19-year-olds? And I said, yeah, it's okay, but I think, Hemant, it's better to write the first body paragraph about uh, mental maturity and the second one about social maturity. And the reason why students, is because if we look at the original question, so the original question is the actual question. This first part is a statement about the 16-year-old. The question is what according to you should be the correct age? So your essay should focus more on answering the question than arguing the statement. Is that clear? So that was quite an important point that I just made there. Again, to get those high band scores, you really have to be effective 
to answer the question as accurately as possible. And this is part of that task completion accuracy score, which is arguably the biggest score of your essay. So rather than arguing about what 16-year-olds can't and cannot or can and cannot do, you should argue more of your essay around what's the correct age and why, because that's what the essay is actually asking. That's the question part of it. What according to you should be the correct age to permit such privileges? So we want to focus more on the 19 year old being mentally and socially mature. Does that make sense? So that's why it's better to do the body paragraphs that way instead of splitting it 16 year old and 19 year old. Okay, Elena says, yeah, that makes sense. Bumi's on board, Niha as well. So I'll just make that quick mark there because you really want to pay attention to this. This is why it's so very, very important, students, that you really pay attention to the, the nature of the task two question that's being asked, okay? So tip, uh, in this essay, you should focus much more on the correct age for privileges rather than uh, arguing for or against 16-year-olds uh, as being mature. Okay? All right, so having said that, let's go back to our introductory paragraph. So here is the, um, the beginning of the introduction. I purposefully am hiding the background because I want to see what kind of backgrounds you came up with. So uh, many of you had a similar type of hook. The age of maturity varies in different countries around the world. Okay, sure, so that's a good hook. You had similar yesterday. And then I asked you to finish the background on your own using the planning. So let's see that now, students. Just start sharing the backgrounds that you came up with, okay? Hi, Sikun. By the way, I see that you just joined our group of members. That's great. Send me an email later today, uh, and I will hook you up with your exclusive videos. Thanks, Sikun, for, for becoming a member, and please do join the chat, okay? So go ahead and share the background with us. Uh, yep, there we go. Beck John. Uh, says, many teenagers at the age of 16 are living with their parents while going through mental and sexual maturity in some countries. Um, good. I think that's a good definition there, Beck John. And I can see you have uh, more there. For such people, activities such as voting, operating a car, uh, and getting married are allowed. However, other republics have different policies. Therefore, it is important to know what is the right age for these privileges. Okay. Um, all right, Beck, John, not bad. So you're using the paraphrase, I think, as well, which is okay. Uh, Elena says, maturity is the ability to respond to a situation in an age-appropriate manner. Maturity is very important to handle situations, whether it is good or bad, by, taking good, by making good decisions without necessarily, um, let's see, uh, escalating them. Um, nice grammar, Elena, but your message is a little bit confusing. I'm not sure. Uh, I think by escalating them, you mean uh, without ne unnecessarily creating a problem. I think that's what you're trying to say at the end there. Okay, unnecessarily escalating them, a little bit awkward uh, use of language. Okay, but the grammar is good, Elena. All right, um, Angelina says, teenagers are usually living with their parents and uh, coursing through high school. Uh, this uh, pubescent period is obviously accompanied by a lack of experience in life and thus granting uh, big responsibilities can lead to trouble. Okay, Angelina, that's a little bit of an opinionated background, um, so careful with that. Um, Hemant says social activities like driving, voting, and marrying are, uh, demand high responsibility, which require a level of maturity and understanding. So being too young can lead to irresponsible decisions. Uh, Hemant, I think that's the best background I've read so far. Okay. So Hemant's background very accurately, 
uh, targets the points of the question and um, explains the concept of responsibility and irresponsibility. So it's the most accurate background for this question so far. Okay. All right, I'll take one more. Daniel says, uh, it is fairly obvious to me that there should definitely be certain standards in electing the right age for adult responsibilities because there are pe plenty of complex and complicated rules and regulations uh, that govern this group in society. Okay, uh, Daniel, a couple of corrections. They're not bad. All right, Sammy, I saw yours as well. Students, again, we're going to move through our um, our uh, body paragraphs and conclusion. Sammy and other members who I miss in this part, I promise you I will get to your comments uh, in a priority manner looking at body paragraphs and conclusions. So I'm going to keep switching it up, but just so we can move nicely along, okay? All right. Um, so here is my full introduction. Uh, have a look. So again, from the top, the age of maturity varies in different countries around the world. It is important to establish the best age at which a person is granted the adult rights so that they can contribute further to society. Voting, driving, and marrying are all acts that demand a high sense of responsibility both for the individual and community as mistakes can have dire consequences. Okay. Notice how I state the importance first here of why it's important to make this decision. We talked about this, that they can contribute more to society at this age. They're granted adult rights. What are those adult rights? Those adult rights are voting, driving, marrying. Okay, and why? Because they demand a lot of responsibility, both for the individual and the community. If a person makes a mistake driving, not only can it hurt them, but it can hurt others. Same with marriage and voting, right? So that's the background. Again, students, keep in mind too that oftentimes, not often, always, uh, the introductory paragraphs moves from general concepts to specific concepts, okay? So here we talk about the age of maturity, then we talk about adult rights, then we talk about driving and marrying. So it's going down the funnel, narrowing into more specific ideas, okay? Avoiding repetition. And then I have my Thesis, of course, which is the same as what we saw before, just a little bit of word replacement, so I avoid repetition and create good flow. I believe that the right to such meaningful actions, so I don't want to repeat voting, driving, and marrying. So instead, I phrase it, I describe it, I use descriptive paraphrasing, um, which of course many of you learn on our websites. So I believe that the right to such meaningful actions require both mental and social maturity, which is not yet attained by most 16-year-olds. And therefore, these privileges are better reserved for those 19 and older. Okay, so that makes sense. Everybody clear on that introductory paragraph? So far, so good. And of course, now we get into body one. So body one is going to talk about mental maturity. Okay. So uh, we need a topic sentence. Okay, so Haman says, yep, that makes sense. All right, I can see Niha, Rajvir, Hina, good, Bumi, thank you for the feedback. So body one, we need our topic sentence. Our topic sentence is going to focus on mental maturity. Now, I've said this before uh, in uh, past lessons 
that many topics you can think about as the individual and as society. Now, of course, individual is specific, more specific. Society is more general. Logically, it makes sense to have body paragraph one about the individual and body paragraph two, of course, will be about social maturity, not 16, sorry, but 19. And this is the society, okay? So here, let's uh, remove that and add that, okay? The goal always, students, is learn English and perfect your uh, skills as a thinker and as a writer, okay? So we're doing that together. So it makes sense to first focus on the individual, then move out towards society before getting into the conclusion. So here, we're focusing on mental maturity. Your topic sentence has to define mental maturity and state that it's not at 16, but rather at 19. So give me a nice topic sentence for this concept that we can then go on and explain further in the body paragraph supporting points, explanations, right? Okay, uh, Hemant says youngsters at 16 years old are in a transitional stage where they are slowly getting um, accustomed to social responsibilities but not completely there. Uh, Hemant, social responsibilities comes to body paragraph two. This is mental maturity. So our ability to recognize consequences, for example, okay? Our ability to think rationally, think critically, okay? That's your mental maturity, okay? To calculate several steps in advance. If I do this today, what's going to happen tomorrow? So mental maturity, Hamon, not social maturity. Social maturity comes here. You should not be using the word society for body paragraph one, okay? Uh, Roshni says, students these days of 16 years age are not sufficiently cognitively developed. Roshni, not bad. Continue it with 19. So try to make it a little bit more robust, a little bit more complete and explain, however, by the age 19, such mental capacities are achieved, okay? So a little bit more. So get both of them in there. Um, Roshni, if you make it two sentences, that's okay too. So you can make that two sentences. Just make sure to state both clearly, okay? All right, uh, Hassan says, mental maturity cultivates a sense of responsibility in teenagers knowing how to prioritize others before themselves in comparison with children who put themselves in front of others. Okay, Hassan, good. Now add in the 16 and 19. So this transition happens more at the age of 19 than at 16. And then Hassan, you have a really good topic sentence, okay? Uh, you're almost kind of into the explanation so careful with that, all right? Sammy, I'm still waiting for your topic sentence. Like I said, students, to keep us moving nice and smoothly, I'm gonna switch up different students for different sentences, but that doesn't mean don't practice, so keep typing, okay? Uh, Violetta says, teenagers uh, grow in responsibility every day with work and effort, but only at 19 years of age uh, is it when they reach a significant mental maturity to be responsible for their actions? Okay, Violetta, you're on the right track, all right? Okay, here we go. Um, Maja, I'll read yours as well. Young people usually achieve mental maturity after high school when they start living independently by attending universities and starting to work. Okay, good. Um, so that's a good one, Maja. I like it, okay? You're going a little bit into the explanation as well. So, um, most people do not yet have the cognitive capacities at the age of 16 to take responsibility for certain actions and to 
consider enough variables as where by the age of 18 or 19 most people do achieve this milestone okay so that's my topic sentence it's somewhat similar to many of yours okay so most people do not yet have the cognitive capacities at the age of 16 to take responsibility for certain actions and to consider enough variables as where by the age of 19 most people do achieve these milestones or this milestone yeah let's keep it that way okay and then comes the explanation so when you're thinking of the explanation think of why and how okay so why uh, what needs to happen from 16 to 19 and I think, um, I think it was Maja that said it. So to start living independently, to start gaining that real world experience of going out of the home uh, and um, not being under the wings of the parents. Okay, so give me the explanation here. All right. So explain this. Why don't 16 year olds have this yet? Why do 19 year olds start to have this? So what is it the difference? Uh, there's also, of course, another concept that comes to my mind is a 16 year old isn't afraid of jail because they're in most countries, they're considered juvenile. But a 19 year old in most countries is tried as an adult. So if they create a problem, they know that they can go to jail. A 16 year old isn't scared of that, right? So the consequence by society is different for that. So mentally, how do they differ? Okay, how does that development differ to the best of your knowledge? All right, so give me some answers. All right. So Sammy says, youngsters at the age of 16 are not yet mature enough. They are still under the process of maturing. And 19 is better for these privileges. Sammy, that's a bit repetitive, okay? Even for the topic sentence, if that's your topic sentence, you're a little bit repeating the introduction. So try to give more detail. Okay. More detail. Think down, up, up, down. All right. Beck John says adolescents at a younger age or their mid teens, if you don't want to repeat 16, mid teens often commit uh, irresponsible actions such as driving a car and fighting with their peers while being drunk, which results in injuries or even in loss of lives. As a result, they are sentenced to jail, which spoils their future. In comparison, at the age of 21, nearly all people are fully matured and take actions more carefully. Okay, Bekja, not bad. So you're thinking in the right way. All right. Okay, Hassan says, that is to say, knowing that a 19-year-old stands in their personal power despite the chaos around them and makes righteous decisions. Mm, why though, Hassan? Why does the 19-year-old make more appropriate decisions? What is that that forces that? Okay, so think about that. Angelina says, at 16 years old, predominantly living with parents, youngsters have somewhat a sense of being protected and not protected. Okay, Angelina, you're exactly on the right track. I think that's a very good explanation of that mental development. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'll start writing that as well. Okay, and then I'll look at some more of your explanations. So as many 19 year olds year old students leave their homes for work and higher education they begin 
living more independently and taking greater responsibility for their decisions. In turn, this pushes their cognitive development to be more considerate of others and their actions, such as driving and boating, than a 16-year-old still living under the protection of their guardians. Okay, so again, visually, right? That pushes our brains to develop. So that's uh, my uh, explanation. So anything that's similar to that, if you're coming up with a similar concept uh, or another logical explanation, that's fine. But arguably, that's one of the big challenges that pushes our mental development is to be more independent, to go shop for ourselves, to go get our own medicine, and so on, okay? Uh, Elena says, at the age of 16, a juvenile person does not need to develop maturity because they do not need to worry about consequences. However, 19-year-olds recognize that they need to be more careful because they have to take responsibility and the consequence of their acts, like reckless driving. Very good, Elena. Okay, very good. So that pushes their mental development. Nice. I made a few corrections there. Elena, again, just a reminder and other students, don't use contractions, okay, in uh, task two, especially academic. So do not need to worry. Have not, okay? I am, they are, not there or I'm, and so on, okay? All right. Uh, Dr. Krishna says, doesn't living independently come under social maturity topic? It's a good question, Dr. Krishna, and I was thinking that while I was writing it. I think it can come under both. Uh, I think for social responsibility, um, I would use a kind of a different explanation, but certainly our mental development is largely connected to our uh, move from being dependence to being independent. So I think it's okay to use that as the explanation. I definitely wouldn't use that in the topic sentence. It's a good question though, Dr. Krishna, absolutely. Okay, and I was considering that while I was writing that as well, but I think it's okay. All right, so now uh, let's have an example. Okay. So, of course, here you should think about voting, marrying, driving a car. Try to think about an example that you feel you could probably use later in body paragraph two for your second example. Remember what I said before, students in other classes, that if you can uh, create an example which uh, you can use later in a different way in the next body paragraph, then uh, that can really help to create cohesion in your essay. And that's another part of the marking criteria whereby you can increase your band scores, creating that cohesion through the explanations and through the examples. And that's where Dr. Krishna, you can create more cohesion with the uh, concept of living independently for mental maturity and for social maturity as the explanation as well, okay? All right, uh, so uh, give me some examples, students. While you do that, I'm going to do the same again, students, as best as I can. I'm gonna keep switching up between different members for different elements, all right? But I encourage all of you to get your 
examples out there, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so let's see what you've come up with while I was typing away there. Okay. All right, so Hassan says, a study by psychologist professors at Harvard University stated that adolescents start pushing themselves out of their comfort zone and exploring life further. Uh, and this consequently can lead to developing their cognitive skills to the next level. Good, Hassan. Okay. Um, now, this is a first person essay. So, maybe a more personal example. Again, Hassan, think of examples that you can reuse in the next paragraph. Okay. Uh, Dr. Krishna says, just for the sake of uh, being heroic, they might race a car and end up having an accident which does not physically hurt them but can bring a lawsuit against them which is also cumbersome. Uh, too complicated, Dr. Krishna. I would recommend simplifying that. Okay. Uh, Hemant says, a recent report by UNICEF has stated that countries which have relaxed norm for their citizens at a young age of 16, have a higher percentage of road rage, domestic violence, and divorce cases. Um, it's not bad, Hamon. UNICEF is not the right organization, though. UNICEF deals with relief aid for impoverished people or people who are ill and cannot get medication. So, um, students, when you're using these kinds of um, template concepts like UNICEF or Harvard University, or New York Times, um, just make sure you're being accurate. I think stating UNICEF as a report is kind of awkward, Hamont, uh, for this topic. I would not pick that. Uh, okay. All right. Um, the UN, maybe, Hamont. I, I would just go with something else. Okay. 
Angelina says, unfortunately, I am aware of a series of car crashes in my hometown in southern Brazil from youngsters driving without a permit and moreover uh, voting without any deep understanding of political issues. In Brazil, the minimum age for voting is 16 years. After all, driving and voting does not matter for youngsters yet alone getting married and building a family. Okay, Angelina, I think the very last sentence is a little bit too much opinion. You're kind of going off topic. It might be something for the conclusion, but I think it's a bit too much for the example. All right. So here is my example. Uh, for instance, an independent young adult knows that if they drive recklessly, they not only stand to lose their car in an accident, but also potentially serve jail time. However, a 16-year-old may naively believe that their parents can replace the car and they can only be tried as a juvenile. Okay, so now my connecting sentence. Therefore... A certain level of mental development is needed for adult responsibilities, which is, in my mind, better attained at age 19 okay so that's my connecting concluding sentence now when you're at home students definitely read through your body paragraphs make sure that you haven't made grammatical mistakes logic mistakes you're not repeating a lot of concepts um, just like dr uh, krishna said maybe some of this is kind of more social um, development, the mental. Let's check it out. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we can move on to body two uh, and focus on a different perspective for social development. So here we go. Most people do not yet have the cognitive capacities at the age of 16 to take responsibility for certain actions and to con consider enough variables as where by the age of 19, most people do achieve this milestone. As many 19-year-old students leave their homes for work and higher education, they begin living more independently and taking greater responsibility for their decisions. In turn, this pushes their cognitive development to be more considerate of others and their actions, such as driving and voting. Uh, than a 16-year-old still living under the protection of their guardians. For instance, an independent young adult knows that if they drive recklessly, they not only stand to lose their car in an accident, but also potentially serve jail time. However, a 16-year-old may naively believe that their parents can replace the car and they can only be tried as a juvenile. Therefore, a certain level of mental development is needed for adult responsibilities, which in my mind is better attained at age 19. Yeah, I think it reads well. Okay, I might do a little bit more editing on that in my own time, but I think it's good enough. Definitely on a band nine path so far. All right. Okay. Uh, one more example, Roshni. Take, for example, most adults like to move abroad upon uh, secondary matriculation since they have both self-control and organization skills. Yeah, Roshni, I think it's uh, an okay example. I don't think it's specific enough, and I don't know if it's going to be reusable. Okay. All right, uh, let's go into uh, social maturity. Okay, so what does it mean social maturity at 16 and uh, so not at 16, but at 19? So give me a topic sentence for social maturity. What does it mean to be more socially mature? Okay, again, try to visualize that and ask yourself the question, what is social 
maturity. All right. So I'm moving along nicely here, students. I, again, I really want to get through as much of this essay today as possible so you can really get going here. So the, uh, we're focusing on the topic sentence here. I'll write the topic sentence. You do the same. Move on to the topic sentence. Daniel, I see your example there as well. And I think it's quite good, okay, for the previous. Uh, let's move on to the topic sentence of social maturity, okay? Okay, so There's my topic sentence there, and I see lots of topic sentences coming up now. That's fantastic. Okay. So Hemant says, an immature decision taken under false guidance can end up uh, shaking social nomenclature. Okay, Hamant, it's a little bit existential what you're saying, so it's a little bit out there. As long as you can explain that clearly, bring it back to the age that you believe is the correct age. So, Hamant, you have some great ideas, you have some great vocabulary and grammar, but just make sure to stay focused and keep your introductory paragraph, especially your thesis in mind, okay? The question is, what is the right age to make these decisions, right? So don't um, kind of derail and slide off into uh, related but off-topic concepts, so careful with that. Uh, Rajveer uh, says, Rajveer Singh says, a 16-year-old is not mature enough to understand the influence of his actions on the community as much as a 19-year-old I love it, Rajveer. It's great, simple, to the to the point, right? They just don't have as much understanding. And then you can explain that in your next sentence. It's fantastic, all right? Uh, Maja says, with more experience in relationships with people, 19-year-olds also have a certain amount of respect for their guides, either in business, school, or personal relationships. Yeah, Maja, that's brilliant. It's a great topic sentence, and you're really nicely flowing into your explanation. Okay. So Bekjan says, at the age of 16, people are not fully developed in communication with their counterparts for the next stage of life compared to a 21-year-old. Bekjan, that's good. I think that's good. And I, I again, it's uh, so, somewhat similar to Rajveer's. It's simple to the point, further definition, and you open up for explanation in the next part. So it's well done. Okay. I think that's great. Dr. Krishna says, moreover, as an adolescent, they are majority financially dependent on their parents. 
and not merely responsible for their duty towards society. Uh, Dr. Krishna, I think you're on the right track. I think um, you're going into a bit of an explanation there as well. So, But it's okay. I think you can flow out of that into your explanation of why and what do you mean by that. Okay. All right. Angelina says, being socially mature is connected to mental maturity. However, awareness of social responsibilities requires further development. In other words, a sense of citizenship, which is much more attained at the age of 19 than 16, right? You've got to come back to that, Angelina, because that's your introduction thesis, right? So here is my topic sentence. Furthermore, because it is a greater addition to the individual, right? So you have the individual, and then you have the society. So mental development of the individual, furthermore, the social development towards community and citizenship, Angelina, absolutely. So furthermore, as teens leave their nest, they grow a greater appreciation for the people around them, as well as an understanding of their decisions impact on the larger community. Now notice my apostrophe is after the S because it's teens, so plural on the subject, so plural on the uh, decisions, okay? Uh, this is incomprehensible for most younger teens living at home and having less worldly experience. Okay, so now let's explain that, right? So let's give an explanation for that. So what do you mean? So what do you mean that there's this social responsibility? How is this connected to voting? How is this connected to driving? How is this connected to marrying? So keep focusing on the question, okay? Keep focusing on the question. All right, so give your explanations. I'm going to do the same, all right? All right, so there's my explanation. In this regard, a person aged 19 has deeper consideration when voting as they know that their ballot has an impact not only on their future, but also that of their relatives and greater community. They consider more variables that include the theory of other minds and individuals. All right, uh, so... That's my explanation for the difference in the maturity of a 19-year-old, okay? Uh, let's see what you've come up with, all right? So, um, Elena, I see you're thinking synonymously, says, like, voting is a great decision for every individual in a democratic country. Therefore, a 16-year-old can be easily misguided depending on propaganda, while a 19-year-old is more responsible for their opinion and they can make them a better decision electing a candidate. Okay, Elena, yeah, you're kind of synonymous with what I just wrote there, so good for you. 
Uh, Beck John says, clearly due to social immaturity, many young couples end up divorced just after a few years of marriage, which not only affects their life, but also society. I like it, Beck John. I think you can go more from that, right? Um, especially if they have um, reared a child, right, Beck John? So if in that young marriage, they also have a child, then it has an even greater impact, not only on that individual now, but on the child as well. So there's a lot of places that you can nicely go from that start, Beck John, to further develop that concept in one or two sentences. Okay. Hamon says a 16 year old adolescent can easily come under the influence of propaganda and help end up helping um, unethical candidates win. Whereas a 19 year old has a better understanding of social consequences and looks at more variables. Yeah, Hemant, absolutely. Don't use will. Students, avoid will. Let's not jump to the future participle here, okay? All right, Karen says, uh, an immature teen does not spend time being considerate towards society because of less awareness towards others as he has spent most of the time with his parents on the other hand, a 19-year-old has had greater experience interacting and taking responsibility. Yeah, Karen, you're absolutely on the right track. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, nice. Um, so uh, here's my explanation again. I think I read it already. In this regard, a person age 19 has a deeper consideration when voting as they know that their ballot has an impact not only on their future, but also that of their relatives and greater community. They consider more variables that include the theory of other minds and individuals. Okay. Um, so reverting. So this is my example here, students. So reverting back to the example of reckless driving, a 19-year-old more likely considers the safety and opinion of not only of both other um, motorists as well as the healthcare system and relatives of those potentially affected by the accident. Okay. So this is what I mean by using or reusing the example to create greater cohesion uh, between your body paragraphs, okay? So here's my example. Reverting back to the example of reckless driving, a 19-year-old more likely considers the safety and opinion of both other motorists as well as the healthcare system and relatives of those potentially affected by the accident. Um, students, as fast as we were going, and I'm proud of you, I know you. I was really pushing you in class, I have run out of time, so I'm going to leave the conclusion uh, up to you to do for homework over the next couple days. I will finish the conclusion as well, and then I'll post the whole essay on our YouTube community board, okay? Now, um, this is a fairly long answer, but again, for those high bands, seven to nine, you need to be closer to 300, 320 words rather than 250 words, okay? 250 words is the absolute minimum. Writing the minimum number of words, uh, it's really tough to get a high band score with that, okay? It's just simply you can't develop your answer well enough especially for a question that's like this. Uh, nonetheless, you've all done a great job. Remember, stay focused on the question and on the topic. What in your mind is the right age for these privileges? That has to echo throughout your body paragraphs, okay? It's really, really important 
to have your answers target the question. All right, super important. Uh, coming up in uh, 30 minutes for everybody watching, we'll be speaking part two. Everybody can join the chat. I welcome you to join the chat. Uh, so make sure to hang around and come back in uh, 30 minutes for speaking part two. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, great participation, everybody. Definitely uh, work on your writing fluency as well as your accuracy, and that means to be faster sometimes as well. You're very welcome, everybody. I appreciate all the thank yous, and hopefully I will see you shortly. Again, uh, if you enjoy these videos, get our HD video lessons in a structured format. Visit us at ahelp.com for academic IELTS and G-I-E-L-T-S help.com for general. Uh, see you in half an hour. Much love to all of you. Bye for now.